Hey guys, welcome back to Jenna Tenor Less. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all the things I've been hauling on my hiatus from YouTube. I definitely didn't take a hiatus from shopping. If anything, I did more shopping because I have, uh, you know, been stuck at home. So I definitely hit up Ulta, Sephora, and then made some random online purchases. Let's start off with the first um, random purchase. I wasn't able to self tan f through my entire pregnancy, so or I just chose not to self tan. Uh, my face has been super white all summer. I couldn't wait to um, put some self tanner on, but when I pulled out my mil million dollar tan, it smelled funny. And normally, you know, it doesn't smell at all. So. I threw that one away and I said, let me try something new. Um, and I ordered this Famous Dave's Tanning Mousse. I had never tried a mousse before. I saw that this was made in North Carolina and I really wanted to support my local North Carolinians. I'll let you know what I think about this, probably in a weekly favorites, monthly favorites. And let me know if you see anything today that you would like me to do a two minute review on um, and just put that in the comments below. So I went to Sephora and I wanted to purchase a foundation that was lightweight, light to medium coverage, uh, because I don't have anything like that in my collection. And with a newborn, I've just kind of been trying to do the easiest route possible. Um, I don't really need to do a full face. So I walked in and my friend from high school was there working and I really trust her opinion. She pointed me in the direction of this BB cream from Benefit. I hadn't heard anything about this. I remember it came out a few years ago, but it's never been in like people's favorites. Didn't really know much about it. I told her I had oily skin, and this is the one that she thought I should pick up. It's liquid to powder. It's a pretty good color match for me. It has SPF 35, which I really like, especially when I'm trying to um, consolidate, you know, steps in the morning. Also from Sephora, you've heard me mention the Formula X polishes before. This one on the end, the shine, the number four, that one gets clumpy just like the Sesh Feet does after a while. So I still have tons of these left, but this one needed to be replaced. And when I looked at the price, if I wanted to get a color polish too, it was a better bargain just to go ahead and get some duplicates of these um, so that I could get this and this color polish. I chose to get the color Ignite for this fall. It's kind of like an oxblood red, but it has a lot of red to it. Um, and I can't wait to look, see what this one um, looks like on my nails. I really, really love Formula X polishes um, like this line, but the colors can be kind of hit or miss, so it'll be interesting to see about that one. Now, Vicki also recommended this facial mask. She said it was one of the unsung heroes in the Sephora, um, at Sephora. So I decided to pick it up. It's the Karuna um, antioxidant face mask. It's one of those sheet face masks and you kind of sleep with it on your face overnight and I will definitely let you know what I end up thinking about that one. I got this color for the fall. It's the Sephora Cherry Nectar um, Lip Oil Rouge Infusion. Rouge Infusion. And it kind of, it looks like this. I thought this might be in a good long wearing stain. I've been kissing my baby a lot, so I don't want a lot of transfer of product, so I wanted to try out that one. And I tried another one, where is that one? Oh, I got another one of those gel glosses and it's um, in a raspberry color. Um, but yeah, it's probably in my purse. Now everyone's been talking about the Tachi uh, Illuminating Spray, but I hadn't tried anything from the line. I didn't want to start off with that product because it's super expensive. And I saw these in the checkout line. They're the oil blotting papers and it, it's a pack of 30. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, so I'll let you know what I think about those. From the drugstore, I picked up two things from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Brow Plumper. I don't know how it plumps anything if it's transparent, because that's the color I got, but um, so far I really like this. It was either transparent or the dark color. They were out of like the medium color, so I just went with this one, and um, so far really, really liking that one. I love the brush on it. And then the Voluminous Superstar Mascara. It's a double-ended mascara with a primer on one end and then just like a regular mascara on this end. And I really, really like this. I heard Tati say that it flaked on her, but it didn't flake on me at all. 
and I feel like it gives me a lot of volume very fast, um, which I am definitely looking for. Now from Ulta, they were having a deal on the Nip Plus Fab Skin. It was like a buy one, get one 50% off. So I wanted to try out this eye cream. It's called the Viper Venom Eye Fix because I needed a new eye cream. And then I said, well, let me just pick up this too since there's a deal. This is the Glycolic Fix Overnight Purifying Gel. It said it was good for oily skin. So I'll let you know about both of those. Also looking to pick up a new primer. I felt like the primers that I were, were using just weren't really bringing it to the table. So this one was on special from Smashbox. It's a 24 hour photo finish primer. I have that one on today. So far, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, I have to see how it lasts throughout the day. And then this one, I have tried this one a lot. And it was kind of hard to put down to even try the Smashbox today. It's from Benefit, it's the Air Patrol. And love the applicator on this. I'm sure you've heard about this one right here. Um, but yeah, love this one for days. I'm not even wearing makeup because it has an SPF in it. It just kind of smooths and evens everything out. Definitely a winner. It's $30 though, that just kills me. My friend hooked me up with some samples. She got me this shower cap from Benefit. Who doesn't need a good shower cap? And this Buxom eyeshadow in Mink Magnet is so beautiful. It makes me really want to try more Buxom shadows, but it's the perfect lid color. And of course they're going to pick their best one to put in like the sample size, I think. But um, yeah, that is gorgeous. And then two little like professional samples. I placed an order for Morphe. Of course they're out of the, the O35 palette, which I really wanted to try, 35O. Um, but I did decide to order some brushes and I was really looking to add some brushes to my collection that were uh, good detail brushes that I can really get in there and, you know, do some detail work. So I'm just going to kind of scan through the brushes that I did get. Okay guys, let me run through these real quickly. The first one is the pencil brush is the M168. Pencil brush is the M138842. You can kind of see how they compare. The 818 M321 pencil brush. So they're all pencil brushes but kind of different sizes. This one is a crease brush, is the M139, a very fluffy crease brush, the 86 or 881. Here's a smudger brush for the bottom lash line, M408, a detail brush, the M560, the M149, tiny little, see it's flat on one side and then pointy. This one is the M212. Here's the M826. Tiny little detail brush. And then this brow brush is the M158. Let me know if you want to hear more details about those. But last thing I picked up from Violet Voss, I picked up three lashes. I felt like when I looked at these lashes, they were, were lashes that I could not buy in the drugstore. And I'm really into that look right now that's kind of like clumpy, like sections of false lashes. Um, and so I got Wisp It Real Good, Wispy's My Name, and Dolls Just Want to Have Fun. Yeah, very impressed with... Oh, well, I'm not impressed with those yet because I haven't tried them, but I think I will be. <laughs> I'll let you know. Again, let me know which one of these products that I should do a review on in the comments below and also your favorite uh, foundation for oily skin that's kind of like lightweight, light to medium coverage. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.